for beasts on the way. Mm -hmm. Actually, extend those thermon lamps is a little less than halfway done, so it's going to be a little bit. Yep. Two colossi queued up. And we do see, overall, beast got the early ex earlier expansion down and brisket with only two gateways before he expanded. So he does have more probes and more overall units right now. Yeah, it's paying off, definitely. APM's poked in on the side, just check what he's got, he's gonna back out. He's gonna engage a little bit. Couple more pokes, and he does have blink now, so he's blinking out of that situation, he's just checking out what Beast has for an army. Eight. This is gonna be awesome, I'm stoked for this battle. We haven't had a, a good crazy cast in a while, or just a big battle, we've had a couple duds lately. Yeah, and we're seeing really interesting stuff from APM right now, he's going for charge. Awesome. Eight. I don't... See, I don't know about Charge versus Colossi, though. It's kind of sketchy. Yes. The Colossi will absolutely melt the Zealots. Uh, you could mm -hmm. argue that the Archons will melt the Zealots as, as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but Colossi do a little bit better damage at, at it. I don't know how else to really explain that. Very yeah, well. yeah. We're, we're, we'll just have to see how he, how he works his army around. He might, you know... He is off the top. I mean, we've seen him do some crazy things, so... Right. And when you go into a battle, you want to be as efficient as possible, so I'm going to go more about, you know, the Archon versus the Colossus. The Colossus has, when it gets extended Thermal Lance, it has 9 range, so it sits in the back of a battle, and unless you have another unit that has 9 range, you're not going to hit those Colossus. There's just, there's just no way. So that's, they're the back level of your uh, DPS, and then you have your Zealots in front, which obviously have a range of melee. And then Beast has these Stalkers, which will be the next level of defense. So to get to Beast, Beast Colossus, he has to kill the Zealots, the Stalkers, the Immortals, just to get to the Colossus. While to kill uh, APM's expensive Archon unit, all you have to do is kill the Zealots. So... That's a very good if point. If they engage, APM's going to lose more resources. Wow, I like it. I like that analysis, Cloth. That was great. And we do see um, Beast getting a third expansion. So this is kind of turning out into a uh, passive macro game. Mm -hmm. I hope we get to see some action. We do see a warp prism from APM that's just uh, <laughs> chilling nice. with two zealots. Oh, did it do some damage? Those zealots are hurt. Did we miss something? Uh, I believe we did. I'm so sorry. We probably did. No, it's okay. I didn't see it either. Man, I really hope he drops We it also again. see a Twilight Council coming in from Beast. And also, APM does have that blink, so we might be... Oh, we see Beast moving out right now. He's moving his army out. Yes, and APM spots it. He knows what's coming up. Uh, he needs to Oh, he needs to get his army ready. Yeah. He needs to put those Archons back behind him. They're going to get just beat up in the front lines. Yes, and um, uh, the more conventional army, I want to see... Beast has the more standard army, I want to say. So right now, I would see Beast winning. Oh, we also have a Zella drop up in Beast's face oh, right so now. So cool. Cover spot, swim up and attacking. Looks like Beast will be able to hold this off, though. He's got a lot of stalkers up and ready for that attack. Sorry to interrupt you. No, this is... We're, we're trying to remember, these guys are crazy with their multitasking, so... He did a lot of damage with these... With these, uh... Oh, he had a GT in there, too. Yep. Fortunate for Beast to have an observer with his army. Mm -hmm. But we do see APM take the probe lead now. Wow, that's a Well, it's, it's even. Pretty it's even. Now, but Beast was far in the lead before that drop. He Ooh, and we see APM with two Stark units pumping out um, Phoenixes right now. Those are going to be nice to combat those Colossus, but they're not mm -hmm. going to be there in time. Beast is moving his army out right now across the map. I don't know if he's going to engage or not, but this could be scary if he doesn't get... Yeah, uh, as Beast Army is very scary right for now. For the sake of creativity, I would love to see APM win this, but I believe Beast has the more efficient army. And he is trying to get good position. He wants his Colossi. Yeah, APM is just kind of like sitting in the ball in his base with his Archons out in front and then his Zellas kind of mixed in with a group of Stalkers. Yeah, I think he needs to rearrange his army a little bit better right now, get some... Because... Yeah, he definitely needs to. Oh, Joker. Just trying to get around the Stalkers, this could be bad. Yeah, and... Right now, Beast is winning the economic battle. 
He has three bases already mined. Uh, his main is almost mined out, but it's the same with APM. So it's really, right now it's one base versus two bases. We see a beast killing the third expansion. Oh, and then the attack is happening right now. It's a bad spot for APM to engage. The Phoenixes are shooting down the quad side right now. Oh man, the beast zealots are stuck in the back. They're not fighting, so all the zealots from APM hit the stalkers oh, from beast. Wow, he's doing great blink micro. He took down almost all the Colossi right now. Oh, very good. He's so close, but I think Beast is going to win. He's got Immortals mixed in that army, shooting down these Stalkers. Uh, but yeah. all the Colossi are going to go down. APM needs to reinforce his army if he wants to hold the rest of this off. And we did see in that battle, the Archons from APM were kind of stuck behind the Stalkers, and that's what I was talking about, how you need to be efficient with your the levels in your army. Yeah, yeah, that was a great point. You need to have them positioned where they can all fight uh, effectively. And yeah, APM is working in more DTs right now. I don't know if he's trying to shoot down the... Uh... Yep, he did kill uh, Beast's Observer with uh, that oh. Phoenix. With his nice. Phoenix. So he will be able to hold off for a little bit, but... He needs to start warping in more units. He doesn't have the minerals for it, though. He has so many unused workers up here. If you check out his main, oh, I yeah. think he's just losing concentration right now. Yep, and even though and yeah, even though they seem uh, even on worker count, Beast has uh, a base, has two bases mining, and is setting up a new base. Actually, already has a new base ready. Wow. Yeah, and APM is just off one base right now. Mm -hmm way oversaturated, so many workers not working, it's going to be tough to, tough to come back from this one. Yep, Beast does have a new observer out, so he's going to push out again, and hopefully uh, end APM. Yeah, he is pushing out with a big, big looking force, APM doesn't have the army count to be able to stop this, it's probably going to be the last push, he has a few DTs, a few phoenixes, but just can't get the minerals going to get some, get some ground forces. Yep. It'd be smart for Beast to move out right about now, but yes. he's still, he's warping in consistently. There's no way APM's going to be able to keep up. Yep. Anything Beast does right now is the right decision, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, APM is doing a good job by keeping map, map control with his DTs. I'd like to see him kind of move around a little bit more with uh, his third, but he's in such a position that mm -hmm. he really has no choice. Absolutely, and Beast is sitting all <laughs> up on the Felmaga Tower, just dancing up there. Yeah, dude, those stalkers are partying hard. <laughs> they are partying. Victory battle for Sparta. <laughs> for Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, for Iron. <laughs> and we see a little strike force of DTs going up into uh, Beast's base, but there's cannons up there and a Colossus, so this should be thwarted <laughs> quite easy. Yep. Beast is moving up into APM's newly made base and is going to destroy this with relativity and yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing he can do at this point. Beast is even splitting up his army. He's doing a great job. Oh, and APM just oh. leaves. No GG. Oh, he's very upset. <laughs> oh, I mean, he's just upset. <laughs> he's a great player, but yeah, it looks like Beast bested him on that one. Yeah. Great. Uh, I have to give a 10 out of 10 for APM's creativity. Oh, I yeah, have, for sure. But I have to give uh, Beast a 10 out of 10 for playing a great macro game and having a, yeah. a good, solid army. Yeah, he had a nice army composition. APM, I would have liked to have seen those because you, you just don't see those army compositions that he had much, but uh, yep, yep. I guess now we know why. GG. GG.